Hallelujah. Can we thank God for Zoe Week? Let's go ahead and thank him. Let's worship him. Give him glory. Let's honor him. Lord, we give glory to you. We appreciate you. Look us on the world. This is our confession. This is our faith. Thank you for gift. We appreciate you. Thank you, Lord, for making not just this night peculiar, the entire week, the whole month of April. You are king over our life. There is no one like you. Lord, we declare you this night. Thank you for this prophetic meeting. I am begging you to have your way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hosanna. Oh, Hosanna in the sacred stone of immortality to make bare the wickedness of that angel to allow men to see a fallen angel. You see, the strength of spirits in, is in hiding themselves. That is why ignorance is part of defeat. When a man don't know what the, he's supposed to know, the man is defeated. And knowing is part of victory. Let me say again. I said ignorance is a demonic part of defeat. When what a man is meant to know is hidden from the man, God believes that the man is defeated. So this night is a night of victory. Just before the prayer time, I am going to make bear an ugly beast that have reigned in no time. Not because the beast is powerful, but because man is ignorant. No, not because that beast is powerful. It's just an ugly beast. But man is ignorant. Now, because man is ignorant, the beast has zoom omnipotence. And then the beast is clever. Now, the, the word cleverness can be synonymous to, to, to subtlety. In, in the realm of the spirit, sometimes cleverness can be called subtlety. If it's to use left hand. So the beast claim cleverness, or if you like, subtlety. But while I stood here, the Lord said, make him bear in the way weak. 
since the great stone. There is something I am going to tell a man about sleeping this night. I, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching two messages in stretch as an honor to your ear. Listen, even the dead will envy you when they hear what I'm about to start saying. I say, even the dead will envy you. You see, because this sacred truth is hidden even from the dead and even from the saints in heaven. If you are not loved by God, you won't be here. And uh, in case all that is worrying you is food, hunger is not permanent. There are things that are more powerful than men hunger. Far more powerful. You see, because sleeping that is going to the dust of the earth is not the end of the journey. I said, no, going to the dust. Some people say, I want to go to the dust. I said, even if you go to the dust of the earth, you'll see, you'll see part of it, an eternal journey. So some people will die and continue in the journey, except they come to a realm of incapacitation where their flesh is vile. Now the word vi, please hear me. The word vi is synonymous to death. That means somebody can be alive and is dead because he has already made his flesh vi. Let me say again. I said somebody can be living but he's dead already because his flesh has become vi. I mean V-I-L-L. That is, that is um, desecrated, profound. Not because he loves sin. But because it's ignorant. The foundation of sin is laid in ignorance. There is nobody that cannot have capacity to overcome certain things if he or she have understanding. But the, the ugly monster make himself omnipotent when he blindfolds men. And I, I, I'm feeling jumpy. I don't know whether it's jumpy or excited. I, I, I don't know why it's jumpy. I'm excited. But I think two of them are related. I'm very, very happy. So being happy makes me feel jumpy. You know, because of enthusiasm. I, I feel like preaching. I want to remove clothes of darkness. If you want to kill Satan, no, no, don't fight him directly. Remove his clothes. Now, if you have capacity to remove his clothes, he will run away in nakedness. No, no naked spirit fight somebody who is clothed. Did you hear what I said? The day that Alosi of Galilee came to fight me, and and uh, because she's she's in glory, not not you know, you know, when I say glory, you think that God, she's a goddess. That means she's glorious. That does not mean I'm promoting a fallen God. So when she was about to fight me, I was about to fight her. The Lord said, you know, you, you can see her. I said, I said, yes. And you can't see you. She can't see you. I said, yes. I said, so don't fight. Somebody who can see and somebody who is blind can't fight. And then he said, you can see she's naked. I said, yes. And you're wearing clothes. I said, yes. I said, don't find somebody in spirit that is naked. Nakedness means vulnerability. That is, is conquered. So, there is something I want to share in another way. On the rainbow, Gledu Sopan Daria Edona Dona Dispros. Yes, the rainbow of immortality. Rainbow. The rainbow of immortality. Please. Why I am sharing rainbow of immortality and uh, you shall not sleep in one sharing. That is, I want you to, to feel jumpy. That is, don't breathe down until I finish sharing two of them. Don't breathe. Don't breathe down because I'm about to give you a gift. Don't breathe down. Now, can you pray in just one second? 
and say, Lord, I want to appreciate you for gift. Kennedy, I have the, the death is the wages of sin. And the man is the most valuable asset of God on earth. Father, thank you. Oh, is a gamma borog is yala. Honey, when Okaka gamma borog is yala. Okaka gama boro gisiala Onye mwe m Ezoma gama boro gisiala Ah gama boro gisiala is a mighty Abako di Kizwa Bagaria Gama Boro Gisiala Uso na bungwa ndewo shelter and the hiding place shall Yahweh provide for Zion that Zion might not be touched a fragrance of divine value something that scare dark angels shall come like a cloth upon them that believe him who is Yahweh from pain there will be great rising from this spice we shall be recruited into the path of majesty, leaving the past into the future clearly seen. Honor, might. So I take my duty as a messenger, a messenger of this order, 
Let Yahweh bless this night. Let Yahweh bless you. Ah, let Yahweh bless this week. Ah, let Yahweh honor you. Because you left your bed to come to meet him. He will add glory to your life. Shalom. Turinaskenos. Delutrona helper. Gledo devotion. Ezuria na visitation. Blood toloma. Answer my prayer, O God. Zeleya tara at the hour chosen. At the hour separated. As the hour of honor. We worship you and worship you. We worship you and praise you. So we uh, exalt you, Holy God. Agama begu baragegu. Agame buligelu. Agame. Agame buligelu. When I, was, when I was getting ready, I saw people. I saw people on the floor, some. I saw some rising. I saw some happy. I saw some feeling unsatisfied. And the Lord said, prophet. He said, what do you see? I said, I saw a people you will change. Then he said, if it is what you saw, you have seen it clearly. So say it. So I say, everyone shall, that shall attend this meeting or that is in this meeting shall be lifted. Whether that one is ready or not, that one shall be lifted. I can't hear a big amen. That woman shall be lifted. You shall be helped. I bring you under the umbrella. Under the umbrella of help. I bring you into the calcum of God's support. You will not escape the support of God. You will not escape the lifting of God. You will not escape the favor of Yahweh. I, I mean this particular night. In the name of Jesus. All who are wounded by bad belief. May God re-impart our understanding. Enlighten our eyes. Amen. Cause us to see. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. So have your way. Jesus, marry them. God bless you. you. May be seated. The rainbow. The rainbow of immortality. Please, don't take it like theology. Don't, don't take it like theology. Don't, don't take it like normal preaching that you are used to church. Don't worry about that. There's no need. All that we are protected by God provided the means. All that we are preserved by God provided a means of preservation. Please hear me. Preservation is not a religious art. It's an art of power. I say preservation is an act of power and immortality is an important aspect of preservation. Now, but God can only preserve men or women that provided him means of preservation. Let me say it again. I say God can only preserve men or women that provided him means of preservation. So, the, the rainbow of immortality is a halo of preservation which those that must be preserved by God uh, must produce. Now, the challenge of man is not seen. 
I mean SIN. I will talk about it later. No, it's not sin. It has not been sin. It's not poverty. It's not death. The challenge of man has always been what man can become. Because where you, where you rise from is where you are hidden. Don't pray prayer for God to protect you. It is not the duty of spirits to protect men. Let me say it again now. It is not the duty of spirits to protect men. Anywhere God protected people, people provided a halo. Please. You know, we win the devil from a hiding place. So if you are not hidden, don't fight. If you are not hidden, don't fight. And I used to tell people, a halo is a shelter of security. Now, can you look up? Can you look up? We, we don't really intimidate the devil by fighting him. In, intimidate the devil and his agents from our achievements. There is something an enemy will see with you. He will resign from fighting you. Let me say again. There is something an enemy will see with you. He will know that somebody who had that, that somebody who is like that should not be fought. Now, if you have not provided that value and you are trying to fight, don't forget that you have not won the first battle. Did you, did you hear what I said? I said you have not. No, you have not won the first battle. For instance, you, you don't need to fight angel of poverty. I told you that a friend of mine, uh, that I said, when I was in Kano, I was, we were a little, we were like close, somehow. You know, I'm a weight person, so I don't keep a lot of friends. So one day I called him, I said, I saw something about you, and uh, we talked about it and we prayed. So he told me something. That one day there was a case and they gave order for him to be arrested from the office of the police commission. So he said some policemen came to the church. When they asked him, when they said arrest him, so the policemen went to arrest him in a church. And then as they got to the church, they are, the church just dismissed. The church just <laughs> They look at the building of the church and see, look at the people that came out of the church. Saw the man's car. They went to the man. They said, Oga, oh we are told to come and arrest you. We are going. Use your leg and come to the police station. That is victory. The policemen change their mind because of achievement. They know that if, some, if, if they get to that man in that church, something will go wrong. Fanatics will do something that is that, that the policemen will not like. Church fanatics. He came to a large church. He wanted to arrest. He wanted to arrest the other day. Church just closed. And some of the people in that church are big men. Already. 
Now, what, what I, why I say that is because of sometimes achievement fight for people. Now, the rainbow is a symbol of achievement. It's not somebody who is a dwarf stayed in a low place and be rattling. It, it, they want to give you a taba and you don't have a nose. You don't have a nose, not more taba. And then, <laughs> what I, the English I spoke is you want to take snuff when you don't even have a nose. You're already taking snuff without nose. What about if you have a nose? So the rainbow is a sign of immortality. That time Satan wanted to put stroke on that girl or that man. That time he wanted to afflict that woman with that with that diabetes. Ah, uh, the angel that came to afflict her checked her value. I said, did what? The value was checked. So immortality is the greatest value God has. In fact, it is a it is a it is a particular a state that God, a state of eternalness that belongs only to God. Let me say it again. I say it is a state of eternalness that belongs only to God. So what God tried to do is to how does He share that state? With mortals. If you look at the, the angel, that's the guardian angel of the last destiny in chapter 10, verse 1 of the book of Revelation. It's chapter 10, verse 1. The Bible said that that particular angel there had a rainbow of immortality on his head. The rainbow of. So I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head. Now, the rainbow upon the head of the angel made him a mighty angel, and then made his face like sun and feet like pillar of fire. That is angel that represent the almightiness of God. If you look at the book of First Timothy chapter 6, 15 and 16, the Bible said, only him is immortal. Can you go to 16? He said, only him. He said, who only has immortality? That means it is a quality of being that is reserved only to God. But God shares it with man. And uh, if you go to 15, the Bible says that is why he's the only potentant. That is king of all. But what I want to tell the living, an opportunity that the living have which is not with the dead. One opportunity they live in half that is not with the dead. One particular reason that made God commit the destiny of the living to the, I mean, of the dead to the living. One single thing. And if somebody on earth ignores it, and of course, some people will or ignore it if they are not favored. That one single opportunity is opportunity you have to change from what you are to what you are not. So when you say rainbow, it is not a gift of God. It is a halo that comes from the conversion of men. That means it is a halo that comes from the transformation of men. 
it is a halo that God produced from you. I shared on Sunday. I said there was a time I used to have fever. I am no longer having it. You see, because I am moving. I am moving from glory to glory. Please, in case you don't know, if you are growing consistently, after a particular time in your life, you will not lack some things. And then you will not fight some enemies. You conquer them from movement. It is a blessing to move on the positive side. And nothing is more deplorable. Like living without moving in the towards direction. Now listen. Living is not the same thing as growing. As improving your life. Some people are living and they are not improving. There is a particular age. There is a particular age you will get to in life. If you don't know some things, you will make available, you will make yourself available for satanic torture. Another way. There is a particular age you get to. You must not lack some things. I'm done with it. I said, there is a particular age you get to. You cannot lack some things. Now, if you lack that thing at that time, you'll be devalued. Now, lacking it at that time simply means you are defeated. There is an edge you get to in life. You cannot lack certain power. No, you can lack it. That is why the greatest achievement on earth is the transformation that produces the rainbow. In 1 Corinthians, Chapter 1551, the Bible says, We shall not all sleep. But we shall change. But it is a mosturion. That is hunger. Hunger to stay. Hunger to change. Is a mystery. Desire to change. Knowing what you should change into. Is a desire. I give, I give you a gift. The difference between some people and others. Like Moses and Aaron. Is that Moses understand the importance of change. Now I will be in Galilee next week. By God's grace. Only one thing is important to me. Ten days and night. To take a new nature. To put my stomach on the floor. And say, Yahweh, I am a eunuch to you. I'm not looking for money. Produce a new creature from me if I'm a new creature I will have what I need don't forget that there are things I can't like anymore when I come down from this altar by far I can't like it I won't even beg it I will connect to it Can I give you a testimony? I am gifted by God not to waste value. So if you ask me, shepherd of mankind, where have you put your energy in 31 years of preaching? You will see it. 
You see, because I studied physics. In the world of science and physics, we don't believe in waste of energy. In fact, energy cannot be wasted. It can only be transformed. That is from, from either chemical or mechanical. Either, either kinetic energy or physical energy. Energy can always, always wasted. So I, because of that understanding, I don't waste energy. So one day, this thing I'm preaching now will appear in a book. So that those who cannot get it in CD or online, we read in a book at a time. That is why I also don't buy things. I don't, I don't use my money to buy rubbish. How many young men, yeah, how many young men here know that a rainbow man is a fragrance? A, a, a fragrance is that a, a man is a being. Don't you know that when you see human being, why people die is because they have the aura. They have the aura of carnality. What is called the aura of carnality is vileness that make a man valueless before the divine. Now, as you stay inside fire, you convert from vileness into divinity. When people see you, they perceive your fragrance. For about 18 years, people meet my fragrance before they meet me. Those who are really close to me. I said they meet. I have produced fragrance. I, I said I have. I have produced fragrance for about 18, 20 years. That is something that is called. It's like you are in your bedroom. You, uh, you say, uh, Shepard, is he really here? Because something is smelling in your room. One of my sons that served me said, Daddy, he said, There is something. There is something that left me when I stopped, when I stopped serving you directly. I said, Tell me about it. He said, When I was living it with you in your house, he said, I never feared. He said, But when I, I finished serving you, I started pastoring a church. He said, I started fearing. So I said, Tell me why you are not fearing. Yeah, you don't fear when you are serving me. He said, when there are component angels that are, that are not naturally around you, that when you ask me to go anywhere, they accompany me. So I said, what about now? He said, because you don't send me direct message anymore. They don't follow me. And then because he said, because they don't follow me, I feel their absence. He said, when I join our job, to go anywhere. He said, I don't fear because I know I won't fall. I told you that he said that one day that I sent him a message and an angel threw a Boris. The Boris they gave him is not his Boris. They didn't give him Boris because they love him. They gave him Boris because I asked him to go somewhere and they wanted to hasten his step. The Boris is a component that is with me. A, 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 a divine component that is, that is part of my room. Now, a lot of pastors don't care about this component. They want money. They don't know that you cannot lack money when these components are, are with you. Now, how many people know that change can bring victory? That is, as you're looking at me now, making note, you are having victory. You must not pray before you have victory. You, you can take victory from listening to a good message, from reading the Bible, from having a great fellowship. That's why the Bible said, after mortality has put on immortality, the scripture that is written, that death is swallowed up in victory, is fulfilled. There's no prayer there. I said there is no, there is no prayer. What is available there is change. But change is a mystery. How, how do you get this change? Number one. Excuse me. Let me re-emphasize. 
Let me re-emphasize. In the realm of the spirit, we are not born to be in one place. That means if you are not moving forward, you are going to go down. And they don't move forward in looking for money. Move forward in your change. All the people that are popular now and rich in the sight of God, at a particular time, they weren't. But they keep moving. They keep moving. They keep moving. There is honor in moving from one, one realm of glory to another realm of glory. And it is in movement you produce rainbow. I say it is. It is in movement. You produce rainbow. It's in movement. Rainbow will naturally appear through movement. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 18, I want you to see movement. Please, this is not preaching. This is not religion. This is power. He said, but we all with open face behold us in a glass. The glory of the Lord are changed into the same image. From glory to glory, even as a spirit. He said, we with open face, we behold. Now, the word behold means we look We, we are looking. We look so that we can take change. So, taking change is not possible without looking at the right direction. And then the Bible says, as we look, we change from glory, from one level of glory to another level of glory. If you go back to chapter 10 of Revelation 1 and 2. Excuse me. All ruling nations are learning nations. All ruling families are learning families. All reigning churches are book churches. Can, can you look up? Can you look up one minute? It is not possible to be divine without a book. That is why in chapter 10 of the book of Revelation, the angel had a book in his hand. And the rainbow of the angel came from fellowshipping with a book. Now let me ask you to listen. Why you are a pastor? You are making promises to people who you are not teaching. Promises are fulfilled in transformation. I mean, promises of God. If you look at chapter 22 of Revelation, please quickly. Chapter 22 of Revelation. And he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the mountain. Again, in a deeper dimension, the Bible said the angel doesn't only have a book, he has opened it. And then the book gave him dominion. The book gave him dominion in the sea, gave him dominion in heaven. And then gave him dominion on earth. Now, if you look at verse 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 13, the Bible said, and Moses put a veil. That is a kind of halo. Huh? That is a kind of halo. Please, can, can you say praise God? Let me give you this gift. It is not possible on earth for God. 
to give something that is important to him to an illiterate. Because darkness is very evil. It's a destroyer of values. Please, illiteracy is not manageable. Illiteracy is not manageable. Don't play with me. I've been for that one years. Illiteracy is not manageable. I, I can love somebody in the church. I don't want to live with an illiterate. You see, because illiteracy produces a sword. The appearances men. It produces a sword. Now, if you are of light, don't forget that when you are of light, light makes you very sensitive. Because you, you, you are already trained on use of mind. That means when I ask you to give me water, I, 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 I already know how many minutes it, it, it will take you to give it to me. Now, I, I don't know it because I am thinking about you. I know it because my mind is already enlightened to expect that water at a particular number of minutes. Now, if you don't bring it that time, I, I will be hot. And if you hurt me, I will believe that we are not going to stay together. If you keep hurting me. That is how illiterates hurt enlightened people. Church, why are you poor? Why are you poor thinking? Huh? Huh? For more than 17 years, my way to the altar is from my mirror, not from my seat. I come to the altar from mirror, not from seat. Not from my office seat. So when I stand up to come out, I keep my Bible on my table and then I go back to the mirror. I have done it for about 17, 18 years. And in that mirror is my toilet. That is where I urinate for the last time. Even when I'm not under pressure, I try to urinate. If you stand up for an, an ordained seat during service, you have offended me. <laughs> that I didn't say anything does not mean that I'm not angry. is of value made for certain beings not those not those who are not ready that is why before you ordain people you get them ready so you 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 don't put crown because a have ordination is crowning somebody you don't put crown on somebody that's not made ready to manage a seat does not mean there cannot be emergency. <laughs> you know, there's something that happened one day. I, I went to Kano. I preached this type of message. The way I'm saying it. One day, somebody who was a, is a deaconess in Kano, she said, she said, but there are some things she said, you know, that day I was preaching, I said, I was inside the plane, 
and somebody came inside the plane. And after two minutes, she wanted to reach, use the restroom in, in, in the plane there. And you know, it, 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 like church, it offended me. I said, look at somebody just running inside the plane now. And <laughs> I want to be Where is she coming from? Where is she coming from? The airport does not have places where people can urinate. Why, why, why urinate in two minutes after you have gone? So when I said it, you know, the way I am straight, the lady said, it's a shepherd. Everybody's not like you. <laughs> so I said, and what is that? She said, ah, is there some of us take hard drugs that makes us urinate sometimes? So sometimes we can go outside of the church, not because we are not disciplined, but because we are under drugs. I said, I'm really sorry about it. <laughs> I didn't know you were under drugs. But you're immortal. What are you doing with hard drugs? I'll tell you something. If you preserve darkness in your life, Satan will use it against you. He will not talk to you when you are preserving it. Because he knows you are providing for him a tool to hurt you. So looking is part of preservation. And the word looking is synonymous to either reading, fellowshipping, talking with one person. So it's not really about, it's not only about reading. Now you are in church, you are looking. It takes, let me switch on. It, it, it takes a lot of effort to produce a halo. But a halo is a hiding place. I say it, it takes a lot of effort to produce a halo. But halo don't, or rainbow don't disappear after it is produced. If you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3 15, 2 Corinthians. He said, not as Moses who put veil over his face. Now, veil over face is a part of, it's like rainbow. The Bible didn't say God put veil upon Moses' face. Moses put veil. Now, that particular veil is why we don't know the grave of Moses up to now. And that is why in 17 of Matthew, Moses appeared with Jesus in transfiguration. I think I want to show us three rainbow men and how three of them achieved the rainbow in Matthew chapter 17. Rainbow is not a gift. If you are a man of God and you like anointing, you will not lack anointing after you have gotten rainbow. Don't you know there are things I don't pray for? I can pray for it. Can you read it? Beautiful scripture. And after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, bring them apart into a high mountain, number two, and they were transfigured before them, and he says, this shone as the sun, and his raiment was as white as light, number three, and uh, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Please, I want to show you another attraction. I want to show you another. I want to show you another attraction. If you look at verse 2, the Bible says, before Moses and Elijah went to Jesus, Jesus became worthy of their company. He took time to become worthy. Please, I have gone through pain to help you with what I'm saying. You're supposed to give me gift, but don't worry about that. Don't establish relationship in inequality. 
something very painful will happen to you. Don't establish fellowship in, in inequality. There is a difference between somebody you can help and somebody that can be your friend. Don't make somebody that you can help your friend. Relationships make demand of values. You cannot keep taking from somebody and not giving back. That is lopsidedness. There will be mayhem. That is why you don't marry for love. You marry for equality. So Moses and Elijah they didn't appear to Jesus until Jesus turned into a son. I think we should look at 17 too. He has to turn. He has to turn to attract Moses. He has to, he has to turn. He was turned to attract. There is becoming to attract. There is no divine personality that we serve unworthy people. Is it that you're close to somebody and every day you're getting angry? You have mastered yourself in use of mind for, that, for 20 years and then you, you want to entangle with a stumbler. I told you that I know the number of steps it takes me from my office standing up to this seat. So when I leave my office, I do ACR work. You know, because I came from Asia. That is my original place. I say I do a, I do a sea mezzanic walk. That, that is why my wear is not shoe, it's sandals. It, because you cannot really walk a Asiatic mezzanic master step without with shoe. Those of us who are masters, we don't wound the earth. We appeal to the earth. And then we don't leave mark on the earth. Because we know the importance of footprint. That's not for this night. <laughs> when you're supposed to live like a spirit, you don't leave human footprint. But you know, I told you there are some things I want to teach Lucas and uh, some people. I said I wanted this year, that's why I stopped school of ministry. But there are people that are not getting worthy. So I'm giving them time. Like what I said, don't allow them to trap your footprint. They can trap your footprint. They can trap you through your footprint. Just that in your car going, you are going. You're, you're, you're creating impression on the earth. And that footprint is you. So some people don't leave footprints. Me, I don't want to put my footprint everywhere. I don't even want to put it. Some of the sickness that come to people came to them from footprint. Can I say something to you? Huh? If you match your leg on evil ground, on evil ground, if your footprint remains on evil place, the evil ground will get to you. The evil ground will get to you without your permission. Just like, hey, John Neal, just use your hand and slap on, on another person's hand. 
Now you don't care. Or hugging people. You think you can hug people and they put print on your body. Because you want somebody to be happy. Why? We are not here to make everybody happy. So in 17.2, in 17.2 of Matthew, and the and it was transfigured before them. And his face did shine. As the sun. And his raiment was as white as the light. And then, verse 3, and then, and behold, they appeared unto them. It, it, Moses, and he has to be like that for these other people to appear. That's what I just said. Now, in Catholic world, they put rainbow on Jesus. That is visionary rainbow. That is, that is rainbow. Visionary rainbow. That is visionary rainbow. But when Jesus conquered death and rose from the grave, the rainbow that was visionary appeared physically as a halo of victory, of quality. I have had people who say, ah, Locust army. I said, even if we don't have the whole world, we have gotten honor of Halo. This means from intelligent work, calculative devotion, visionary, visionary effort towards a given direction has come to honor. A certain level of preservation. A certain level of preservation in the realm of victory that makes some some spirit naturally fear locus army. And you know, a halo it is a token of oath. That is where I'm stopping in it. A halo is a token. Of, of oath. That means the moment there is a halo on your head or you are growing to produce halo, uh, God will start that halo. Means some things can no longer happen to you. I say it means that some things can no longer happen to you. Because of what you have spent time to become. In 913 of Genesis, I quote only scripture that you need. In 913, and I will set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of covenant. Ah, huh? a token. <laughs> uh, verse number fourteen. Uh, is it just token of covenant? How can somebody be answering locust army, and some spirits will not fear you? Throughout this week, some spirits will fear you. Some problems will look at your face and die. I can hear a big amen. Listen, your life shall not be subjected to certain form of disrespect that prevent them from touch. A divine value. Something that God cannot separate himself from. Excuse me, how can I die? How? My strength is not just in taking oath or in consecration. My strength is in my in my change. So I take oath to transform. Because a lot of men of oath are already dead. But when you take oath and transform, God will take his own oath. Because it's not your oath that matters. It's the oath that make God responsible. 
please the word responsible is not under is not under favor it's something compelling I say something it's something that compels God to honor his name I said something compels God to honor his name. So sometimes God help us not because he really wants to help us. He has to help us to honor his name. If I am shepherd of mankind I am, and I am serving God the way I am serving him, there are things I can lack. Not necessarily because God loves me, but because God has to honor his name. Because people already know the way I'm serving him. Sometimes I will say to him, I say, Yahweh, no, you are the spirit of truth. <laughs> Don't discourage people. They know I'm devoted. Don't discourage me. Don't, don't make people feel discouraged about serving you. Because they know how I'm serving you. A man that serves you that way can't like this thing. That is what I call responsible. Is he a great night? Huh? Is he a great night? Don't serve God without boldness. You will get discouraged at a point. Know your God. Somebody said, a particular man of God, he had hollow. He had hollow. He had hollow. And he died in accident. How can hollow die in accident? I am not chasing miracle. I am chasing value. I am chasing divine reputation. I am chasing preservation. God doesn't need to do miracles to be God. Satan in the book of Jude, somebody who is not preserved, have something that is preserved. If you want God to preserve your life, you should make effort to preserve your own life. Because it's not the duty of spirits. Somebody say, Shepard, you, you like saying it. I say I'm an, I am an apostle of time. Galilee camp is 30 years. I have gone there every, every year after year. I mean, not Galilee, not camp. I have preached in my village for 30 years. I got anointed there in 1994. The first time I said this is power of God and somebody fell was well, 30 years ago. Not as a teacher, but people start collapsing. 30 years. So is there anything left for me to know? If I'm a seer. How many pastors, how many young men in that village are, are pastors here? And have they, have they not made a tent? So why didn't they remain and be used if there is a rainbow on their head? Some of them are still going up and down accusing me. The more they accuse me, the more they sink because all I have, I've given them. And somebody's still talking. What is left for somebody who is talking against Christ, Christian is pain. He will get abundant of it. If he's a man of God who is suffering like me, you want to see forth in. Not even one generation. Not even only one generation will see pain. Even those who are in the grave, in that lineage, will be part of that pain. What belonged to me in 31 years? Where is it? If I have a wife now, if they get have a car, everybody start talking. They use their nonsense of they give to buy a car. Because they like a pri they like attacking priests. So if they say the nation shall be raised, 
They shall produce rainbow men. They shall produce rainbow women. And then the, the, the land had to be sanctified by the presence of God for people who are not destroyed to stand up. If I am at this level where I don't have wife, what will happen if I have had wife like about 30 years ago to something? Maybe 28 years ago or 30 years. And I have lived with a woman and a pastor in local customer and having children, sending them to school and universities. How would the church be? When I, when I got off from the bed now, because the money I gave for lunching of Nepal, the money I gave for lunching of Nepal was hanging since morning. When I got off from my bed now, I ran to 12. The guy from Nepal just sent me tests that I got because when I got home, he called me and said, Shepard, the money you say you said, I've not seen that says it's hanging, it will come. I told him around 9.30 in the morning. I went to So, when I look at what's going, he took a handful of checks to go to bank. So when I saw that alert now, I know the money that was there in the morning yesterday and how much is remaining in that particular account. Then I've known, I've known, I just know how much I took in that account in one day. Just one day. I started asking myself, I said, what kind of people do I have, these Igbos? And someone said, don't say it. I'm the one that should say it. May your life not be stolen. Listen. Rising will not be difficult with right thinking. Right visionary thinking. Because right thinking is visionary thinking. And visionary thinking compels us to take continuous responsibility until we come to what where we desire to be. Now listen, I say right thinking is visionary thinking that compels you to take responsibility continuously. Not at a, not at a particular time or two times in life. You take responsibility continuously. Somebody said we are making convert. I want to ask you something. Is it not the preservation of the altar that preserves the convert? Is it not the value of the priest that put value on the pew? There will never be immortality until there is a rainbow. There is a reason to be immortal. A victory. When we are going, I told them, I said, don't trifle with me because I have, I fight one enemy and that is myself. In, in the last 31 years, I've never majored in fighting, in fighting an outside enemy. I've always fought myself. I've always known that the person that delay myself is me. I've always known that it's an enemy. That's my problem. It's something that I'm not becoming. So I'm, I'm not going to say that my challenge is this person. My challenge is this person didn't help me. How? If I want to help, I should be worthy. And God is limitless. Oh, 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 Sense. Those I hate you shall not hide. Those I hate locust army shall not hide. 
enemies inside the sun, the enemies in the sea, the enemies in the heavens, the enemies under the earth, the fire of revelation. Somebody, this is so weak. This is so weak. They shall suffocate. Satoli Araya Patasha Katala. Hey! Somebody, am I hearing your prayer? Let us on Toloro Baba Shara Dalaba. Can you speak to death? Can you speak to death? Can you speak to poverty? Can you speak to shame? And say, Death, who are you? My name is Chris Christian. I can't die. Get out. Get out. Get away. You are not omnipotent. I unveil you to make you powerless. Somebody, can you talk in tongues? Every altar of darkness we are set and hides. That altar shall catch fire. 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 Somebody in a Zoe week, you shall not keep quiet. You shall not keep quiet. You shall not keep quiet. Fire shall destroy an enemy. Zaya Rosetelia Radaba Baba Sara Dababa. Zaya Rashata Radaba. You enemy of man. You enemy of Christ Christian, I command you to die. Fire. Soya rat satel araba shara na baba. Somebody, God bless you. God bless you. Go ahead. God bless you. Go ahead. Wherever the devil is hiding in your family, tell it to come out. Tell it to come out. Every sanctuary supporting death. Every sanctuary supporting death. Every plan supporting death. Every evil supporting death. Every gate that open to death. That gate shall catch fire. Lazaria, Razotora, Susaria Rada, Toto Caprana, Lara Sutoroya, Thunder and Fire, Logadega de Gaya Gagadiganga. Rato gete getu lete ya gato pekele ya titi titi ya ranata fire. Somebody let your enemies get naked. Let your enemies get naked. Let your enemies get naked. Let the angel of death get naked. They must be naked. They must be naked. They must be punished. Witches and wizards. Evil in ancient authors. Killer of people. Oh, you get an angel of fear, but I don't have the red of rainbow. Find them out. Find them out. Find, find them out. I call on the value of fire and rainbow. I stand up. We cry to Jesus, the living word. We cry to the living word to take us to another level. That support delay. Can I hear your prayer? That is your last prayer in a minute. You are not losing anybody. I condemn the I condemn the angel of death. I condemn the angel of death. Any other under the earth of your family. We have plan is going on on how to take somebody. That altar shall cast fire and burn to ashes. Lord, I pass through to, to, to the realm of darkness. To hurt the angels of death. Wherever those altars are. 
spirit of death and evil you get to death I command you to be judged you are enemies of righteousness you shall burn to ashes Kiloma Kamene Aririo Kamnaria Onye Wem Kiloma Kanjibia Mirueze Is a Some of that the prayer is going already. The prayer is, is coming. The fire is coming. Somebody go ahead. The fire is coming. A devil have to feel something somewhere. A devil, a devil have to feel something. An agent of darkness has to feel something. A wicked spirit has to feel something. A python. A witch and a wizard. Somebody that wants to reduce my life. Fire. Oh, you extortioners. The Lord of the heaven rebuke your wicked activities. Tonight. Somebody can use his sotoli aradaya. I am serving a living God. The father of all spirits is my God. The father of light. The owner of all realms. I release the flying lion to place of war. Devour the devourers. Somebody I'm not hearing your prayer. Let the devourers be devoured. Thank you. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take one second and say, Lord, I want to thank you for what I'm about to hear. I will say, Lord, I want to thank you for what I'm about to hear. Open my inner ear. Thank you for making me to hear it and understand. Make it part of me. In Jesus' mighty name. We shall not all sleep. I want 10 people to give a seat to this altar before I preach it. Keloma Kanjiribia Ariyo Kamnaryo Yezoma Yeze Otutoma Kamnenye Jiyova Ariria Kamnaria Ayewem Ekelama Kanjiribia Ariria Kamnaria You may be seated. First Corinthians chapter 15, 51. I'm not taking this speech in long because so I will take it short. Then ask you to come up. 